Hey guys, Seth with Skynet Drone Systems. Today we're gonna to be going over pairing the DJI Mavic 3 with the Motion 2 controller and the Integra goggles. We're gonna go through step-by-step, step, show you how to pair each one with the aircraft. Then we're gonna go through binding the goggles and the controller with the aircraft. And then we're gonna take it up and we'll show you what the new features are, including some of the new updates um, that activate the sensors for the aircraft and actually turn them into cameras that you can use to tell if you're close to an object and just kind of have a 360 degree um, field of view around the aircraft so stay tuned so the equipment we're going to be using today is the mavic 3 the motion controller 2 and the integra goggles So the first thing we're going to do is pair the aircraft to the remote control and the goggles. And the way we're going to do that is to have the aircraft powered on. We're going to hold down the power button until we see the lights begin to flash and we hear sequential beeps. Then we're going to do the same thing to the goggles. We're going to have the goggles powered on. We're going to hold down the power button until we hear sequential beeps and the lights begin to flash. Then we're going to repeat the process again. We're going to hold down the power button on the drone until we see the lights begin to flash, hear the sequential beeps, and then we're gonna do the same thing to the remote controller until we see the lights all light up in sequence, and that means all of the devices have been paired successfully. The next thing we're gonna do is going to bind the goggles to the aircraft, and the way we're gonna do that is to open DJI Fly, go to your profile, we're going to open device management and then we're going to choose the mavic 3 aircraft from this menu that's going to open up another menu and we're going to be able to select value added service what that's going to do is it's going to show you the goggles have not been bound you're going to bind the goggles at that point <music> Now we're going to activate head tracking by using the toggle switch on the top left of the goggles. That's going to bring up a menu. We're going to scroll over and activate head tracking. To operate the aircraft using this controller, you're going to tilt your hand forward to dive or pull your hand backward to climb, just like you would with a regular flight stick. To turn the aircraft, you're going to have two options. You can either roll your wrist over to the right, roll your wrist over to the left, or you can just turn your wrist to the right or turn your wrist to the left. This joystick is going to allow you to change the elevation of the aircraft. By pushing up, you're going to ascend. By pushing down, you're going to descend. This is going to be your mode select. This wheel is going to allow us to open menus and scroll through the options inside the goggles, as well as toggle the zoom feature and zoom in and zoom out on the camera on the aircraft. This button is how we take a photograph or start recording video. This is going to be our throttle. If we pull it in toward the handle, it's going to accelerate the aircraft. Then we're going to use all of the previous directional features to control the direction of flight of the aircraft. Also, if you push that trigger away from the handle, it's going to activate a reverse feature on the aircraft. This is the power button. We're gonna press once, then press again and hold to power on the aircraft. This button is how we're going to start the motors and activate the props. And we're gonna do that by pressing the button twice in quick succession. Then when we're ready to lift off, we're gonna press the button once, then press it again and hold it down. So now we're able to use the goggles to look up and down our head turned to the left and to the right and control 
the way the aircraft turns. The pitch of your head is going to articulate the camera up or down. And the way that you move your head to the left or to the right is going to control the direction the aircraft turns. To climb, I'm squeezing the accelerator in and pulling back and up on the flight stick. So now that the aircraft is in flight, we're gonna be using the circle to tell the direction of travel of the aircraft, and we're gonna move our head to the right, to look to the right, look up, to look up, look down, to look down, but that circle is going to be the direction of travel of the aircraft. To activate the zoom features, we're going to use the wheel on the left-hand side of the controller. To use the scroll wheel, you're going to push it toward the object you want zoomed in on to zoom in and pull it away from the object you want zoomed away from. The final feature is called Vision Assist. For this, we're not going to use the Integra goggles or the motion controller too. We're gonna to use standard DJI controllers and either a smartphone or a tablet. What Vision Assist is, is it takes all of the sensors around the aircraft and turns them into cameras to give you a 360 degree field of view as a pilot around the aircraft. To activate Vision Assist, you're gonna launch the mini map and then swipe right. Now that Vision Assist is activated, you can switch between the cameras by touching the four different arrows on your screen. You can also change cameras with the map minimized by touching the same arrows on the screen. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helped somebody figure out how to link the Motion 2 controller and the Integra goggles to the Mavic 3 aircraft, as well as giving you an idea what that new flight assist looks like as a pilot when you activate those sensors and turn them into cameras, giving you that 360 degree field of view around the aircraft. For pilots operating in urban environments or where there's a lot of obstructions in general, I think that feature is gonna be super helpful for you guys. Stay tuned. Make sure you guys hit the like and hit the subscribe button. we got new videos coming out every week. Stay safe out there, and we'll see you guys really soon.